But first, a social media post sparking controversy at a local school. It started as a game of beer pong, but what the students posted next sparked immediate anger. 41 Action News reporter Tom Dempsey explains why some say the school's response wasn't enough. Right, Tom? Yeah, that's right, Rianne. And uh, people saying this incident happened off campus from St. Teresa's Academy and during after school hours. But tonight, staff having to release statements like this one you see me holding here due to a lot of outrage. I was very disturbed and surprised. The Snapchat brought shock for Maggie Hanahan, a 2008 graduate of St. Teresa's Academy. Multiple people that I went to school with at St. Teresa's had posted on Facebook about it. A picture showing a group of high school girls whose faces 41 Action News has chosen to hide near cups arranged to form a swastika with a caption reading, Girls' Night. The reaction has mostly just been, wow, this is happening. The social media post bringing controversy to the private all-girls Catholic school. Alumni saying the girls only received a one-day in-school suspension, requiring them to send emails to their future colleges. I remember people getting harsher punishments for things like being caught drinking or being caught drinking outside of campus. In a statement sent to 41 Action News, the school saying an investigation looked into a beer drinking game with the placement of cups resembling a hateful symbol. After investigating the underage drinking and potential for racial discrimination, staff concluded that, quote, this is a case of inappropriate and unlawful underage drinking, leading to the students involved being disciplined. I was surprised. I thought it was quite lenient and I don't necessarily agree with how it was handled. Moving forward, alums like Maggie Hanahan hope the school does more to stop similar actions. And I hope that St. Teresa's will step up and do what they need to do to make sure that everyone feels welcome, everyone feels safe. We will note the school did not comment on the specifics of the penalties the girls face. Meanwhile, Maggie hopes the school holds more events in the future to promote anti-racism and equality. Live in KCMO, I'm Tom Dempsey, 41 Action News.